people, welcome back. It's your brother Tactical, back with another small size machete. Today we got the Condor Dundee machete. Finally had to break down by a Condor. Everybody keeps telling me that's what you want. So here it is. Really nice leather sheath on there. Nice little eagle made in El Salvador. Nice sheath. No lanyard hole, nothing like that on the bottom. There's your belt loop. And it swivels like so. Nice and thick. Definitely a high quality sheath on there. So that was that was nice to see. I put a ranger band on there because the handle's a polypropylene and it's a tiny bit slippery. So I put a ranger band on there. It deploys very easily. It's actually pretty tight. Here, let me show you. No rattle. There's no retention straps or nothing. I wish there was a diagonal. That would be cool. But it still holds it in very well. Comes out like so. Oh, yeah. Daddy likes big blades. Take a closer look at this thing. Uh, it's almost a partial hollow grind. It's really, if it is a hollow grind, it's very shallow. Or that might be a partial flat grind. It's hard to tell. It almost looks like a slight hollow grind. Got a little fuller going on there. Clip point design. Uh, the steel is 1075 high carbon steel, made in El Salvador, like I said. Go over the technical specs on this thing, get that thing in the picture. 17 and a half inches overall, 11 inch blade, 2.1 pounds, so it's kind of hefty. The thickness is 0.190. Retails for about 70 bucks, you can get it for about high 40s, almost $50. Like I said in my one of my previous vids, I'm going to test the sheaths as well as the knife. So I wore it all the way in here. Like I said, over streams, up and down hills, over logs, slippery surfaces, and it never got in my way once. And you can see it's like, it's not down to my knee, so it's a good length. And it's actually a kind of high riding, which sometimes is annoying, but with this it's not. For the simple fact of that does swivel. So instead of, you know, kind of trying to yank it out like that, you can just pull it diagonal a little bit and deploy it, which I do like that. So the sheath is working pretty well so far. Now we'll test the initial sharpness. By hand, it felt pretty decent, so let's see what it does to some wood. This is all wet, nasty shit, but it rained out today, so everything's all yucky. Seems to be biting. I'm going to switch around different spots. Yeah, seems to be pretty pretty decent actually. I'll even test way down here at the tip. I don't know if you can see that or not, but a little bit more difficult because the wood's all slippery and shit. But it doesn't seem too bad. Another thing I like about this has a little choke up spot right there. So you get your finger right up there do some finer tasks that is kind of nice to have this piece is a little bit drier so we'll try this out a little bit easier to hold on to than that slippery stick and that extra choke up spots working pretty well make some feather sticks with this nice yeah, we'll just try to chop this little uh, stick in half. This is like two and a half inch piece. Now I did hit it once or twice before with something else, but that's why I tried to turn it. Ooh, whoa. That was uh, easier than I thought. A higher portion of that same tree. This is a little tree that fell in our bug out spot. kind of spinning on me. It's just a little piece. I'm trying to stand on it with one foot so it doesn't slip. Ooh. Damn. Start with some tip testing. Do some stabs. See how this thing will bury. It's actually sinking in really freaking good. But the ranger band I put on it, I shouldn't have put
put this stupid thing on there. It's actually a hair big, so it is sliding forward a little bit when I'm thrusting. Might have to take that darn thing off. Wow, it's sinking in nice though. Because it is a pretty fine tip on this. You know, that is pretty pointed. It's kind of thin, which worries me a little, but we'll see what happens. Okay, I'll do this portion without gloves. I want to test it with and without. Yeah, it's got a ranger band. That's kind of cheating. I almost should freaking take this thing off. You know what? I'm going to. Okay, give me a second. I'll rip this off because that's kind of unfair for the initial test review. Okay, after a little bit of struggling, I got that bitch off. Okay, that's more of a fair initial test. We can always do that later. So let's just do 10 chops on this and see what happens. You know, my aim was a little eh, but there you go. It was cutting in decent. It was just my aim was kind of crappy on that one. Time for a little bit of freestyle cutting because you know that's what I like to do. I got some freaking stuff around me, so hopefully I don't hit nothing. I'm hoping this uh, 1090 or 1075 holds up. I hear a lot of good stuff about Condor. actually not as slippery it's actually not as slippery as I thought it would be it's taking freaking good chunks let me tell you and I like that hook on the handle it makes it feel like it's not gonna go flying out of your hands Ooh, I just did a little wiggle when I stabbed. Let's take a look. Straight, okay. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm going crazy, shit like that happens. But so far, so good. Uh oh, time to move you guys. Oh, all right. Do some downward strikes on our, our new stump. Oh, yeah, wow, I can feel the power on this thing. This stump, look at that stump. That thing's about to come off the damn ground. I'm surprised it was still standing. You know what, with that hook on the handle, I don't think I need a ranger band, tell the truth. Maybe I was just, you know, overthinking it. Cause that ain't bad, especially that hook saves you. Right there, it makes it feel really safe. Hey, Tactical, you're so lame. You're not nearly as cool as my man. Nothing fancy. Nothing what? Sounds like some kind of a homosexual rock band or something. I'm a full-fledged tmp -er. Don't talk about my man nothing fancy like that. A full-fledged what? What the, f what the fuck is that? Never, Tack. You, you can't run and gun like my man. How about run and stab, motherfucker? Shut the fuck up with that. Uh, I'm gonna give you a thumbs down now. Definitely got some power to this thing, man. No real hot spots or nothing either. Not yet, anyways.
chopping a knot, actually. So that'd be a good test if we get a chip or not. Green branch that fell down out of a tree. We'll see what it does to something live. Oh, wow. Dang. Wow. I mean, anything live, it seems like it, it just friggin' blasts right through it. You know, I guess that's what machetes are for, really. Right? So let's take a close up of this thing, see how it fared. Now, like I said in the beginning, the tip is pretty fine with that swedge. But, and I did do a stab and then a wiggle, and it's still perfectly straight. That's good. Take a look at the edge. Perfect, no nothing. Now, the finish did wear off pretty quick. Check that out. This is wood right here. But you see the brass looking stuff? That's like a coating or it's something under the coating. So right where it goes from a flat grind to a partial grind or a partial flat grind, you know what I'm saying? Where, right where it starts to bevel, it that's where it's wearing off on both sides. This side more than the other. But check that out, that brass looking shit. That would actually look really cool if this whole blade was like that. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> so the finish is pretty weak on this, but everything else seems great. I mean, it swang good. It had a lot of power. The polypropylene handle I was worried about, but since it has a good shape in that hook, I had no problems at all whatsoever. I never felt once that this thing was gonna fly out of my hands. Just as a side note, the sheath, how did it feel the whole test? Uh, just like kind of walking in. I didn't even freaking notice I had it on. I pretty much forgot it. Especially with the nice side of it. It wasn't moving around, swinging, doing anything. So the sheath was really good. So how would I rate the Condor Dundee? Well, like I said, the handle and everything is shaped well. It doesn't have a ton of traction, but it's still a great shape. It holds you in there. I like that extra choke up spot. Uh, the 1075 held up well. The finish was a little on the wimpy side, but that's not a huge deal, right? Especially if you maintain your knives, and I do. So, it had a lot of power. I can't wait to see what it does in the small machete shootout series that I'm going to start soon. I think it's going to fare pretty good. Uh, man, I tested that Kershaw 14, Camp 14. That had more power just because it was a lot longer. 14 inch blade, this is an 11 inch blade. But for being kind of small it had a lot of power and man so far so good I, I do like this I probably rate it pretty high probably give it like an eight and a half I would recommend it you know you probably should wait till I do my small machete shootout series to see which one will be best for your money but so far so good thanks as always for stopping by and until the next time we meet